Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. When you surpass the narcissist's unrealistic expectations. It's no secret that narcissists have unrealistic expectations. They expect the world from you. They expect you to climb mountains. They expect you to reach the stars. But what happens when you actually manage to do the impossible and climb out of the pit that they have created for you? What happens when you exceed their expectations? What happens when you become greater than they ever imagined? What happens when you do better than them? When you surpass the narcissist's unrealistic expectations, you will realize that when they created all of these problems, all of that drama and chaos, it was for no reason, because there was actually no problem at all. They were quite comfortable with that situation. And when you finally succeed, you will begin to notice the real problem because it will be apparent. It will be completely obvious that they never actually wanted to see you succeed. They never wanted to see you shine. And all of that time when you didn't succeed was because they were intentionally holding you back. Even though the entire time they made you believe that they cared about you, when the truth is that they didn't want to see you win. They didn't want to see you being happy and healthy. They didn't want you to feel satisfied with yourself and your life. And this doesn't always have to be a narcissistic partner. It could be a friend, coworker, boss, or even your own parent. And one of the main reasons why they hate your success is because they fear that you may abandon them. They fear that you may leave and they don't want you to go anywhere. They may even want you to go back to an even worse or less developed state because it would benefit them. It would enable them to maintain their influence and control over you. But they can't do that if you're greater than them, which is why they don't want to see you succeed. And remember, it's all about them. They don't care about what you could do with the money or success. They don't care about how many people's lives you could change. And sometimes they're not even bothered if you could have made a positive impact on their lives. Because it's still you and not them. It's your success. It belongs to you. And they don't want you to have anything. Which is why if you do succeed, they will throw shade. And they will hate on you which may not make any sense to you because they could have had more money. They could have had a better quality of life, which as we know is exactly what narcissists want. But narcissists always catastrophize. They imagine the worst possible outcome of you elevating in life and being around other people, people who are far more attractive and successful than they are, people with high ambitions, so they assume that you're going to leave them because when a person becomes successful, they typically surround themselves with other people who are on the same level, other people who are very powerful and have a lot of connections, which could pose a serious threat to the narcissist in your life. And they may also imagine all of the attractive men or women who may be after you which of course would make them very jealous because they're going to see them as competition, as people who they are competing with for your attention. So they will hold you back because they don't want to see you succeed. They don't want to see you healthy and happy because they will assume that you're going to leave them, which will cause them a lot of anxiety to where they're already thinking about what they will do without you. Because although narcissists may be arrogant, it's actually just to compensate for deep insecurity. 
they already felt like they were beneath you. So if you succeed and become greater, then they're really going to feel small. Especially when they see the more powerful and successful people that you're interacting with. Nothing would make them feel more insecure. So if you do succeed, they won't even celebrate your success. They will downplay it. They will act like it's nothing. And they may even try to hold you back. You may have graduated from university, but the narcissist won't even attend the event because they will always find something more important to do than to celebrate your success. Even though they may have been putting you down all of that time before you managed to succeed, because that was never the problem. They were keeping you down intentionally because they have a fear of abandonment. They assume that the more successful you become, the more likely you are to leave them, which just resurfaces their insecurities. It makes them feel inadequate, so they don't want to see you succeed. And instead, they will try to hold you back because they don't want to see you doing better than them. They don't want you to outdo them. And if you do, it will make them very envious and jealous which will cause a narcissistic injury and then they will rage openly or they will be passive aggressive because it will resurface their insecurities and they will feel inferior to you and narcissists do not want to feel inferior sometimes the narcissist in your life may be more successful than you are but even then your success will still make them think that you're going to leave them even if it's just something where you got a new job. It could be anything where you're making an improvement in your life, where you're stepping in a particular direction. That is enough to set them off. It's enough to trigger their abandonment anxiety. So they will try to keep you at home because narcissists are very different to normal people. Narcissists will get jealous because they were quite comfortable with how things were. So if they see you moving forward, they will hold you back. And the more malignant narcissists may even try to sabotage your success. And they may even steal from you. But when you fail, they will blame you. They will say it's your fault. They will always find some excuse. Instead of taking accountability for what they did to you. Which is why it's best if you hide your success from the narcissist if you can. Because they're only going to be negative and pessimistic. They will speak of the bad or depressing aspects of your success. To lessen your happiness and enthusiasm. Because they just want to kill the mood. They want to ruin the moment. They want to harm, damage and spoil everything. They want to hinder your enjoyment. Which is why any time that they see you're happy or excited about something, they will mention bad news or they will give you negative information because their happiness is not like your happiness. And it's never going to be because they avoid introspection. They don't want to feel. They'd rather be numb than to pay attention to things that make them feel. Because they don't want to confront their own negative emotions. So they don't get to experience positive emotions. Because we must first deal with our negative emotions. Before we can experience happiness and satisfaction. Which is why they're always miserable. And it's why they're always trying to pull you down. They're also very insecure. And they have low self-worth and low self-esteem. They act arrogant. But they're actually their own worst critic. And they don't like to change for themselves. So they especially don't like to change for you. And seeing you change makes them feel broken inside because they can't change. And because they're so negative, 
they're constantly comparing themselves to you. You're like their reference point for how well they're doing because they view you as an extension of themselves. So if you start succeeding, they will feel less than you. So then they have to dim your light. They have to make you seem less impressive and less valuable, which is why you're better off not telling them anything at all. Don't share your accomplishments with narcissists. Share it with people who actually care. People who want to see you win. People who want to see you live in your best life. Because if you share it with the narcissist, they're going to hate on you. And they're going to ruin everything. So they should never be included in anything that makes you happy. In anything that brings you joy. Or anything that marks your pleasure at an important event or occasion. Where you're trying to engage in enjoyable social activity. Because they are only going to ruin it. They're going to diminish your shine. They're going to darken the mood. They're going to destroy everything. They're going to bring the vibes down. Because they can't meet you there. They can't be on your level. So of course they're just going to bring you down. Because that's the only way that they can feel comfortable. They're uncomfortable with your success. They're uncomfortable with anything positive or productive because it's you and not them. And they measure their success by how you're doing. Because their happiness is fake and their success is fake. It's measured by external conditions rather than an internal state. When true happiness and success comes from within because it's based on your own personal choices and goals, not somebody else's. While they're always comparing themselves to everyone else, which is why no matter what or how much they achieve, they're still miserable. And they're still comparing themselves to you and trying to bring you down. Because their happiness is not like your happiness and it's never going to be. Because happiness and success was never meant for narcissists. It was meant for empaths. So that we could give and share it with each other. Because that's what brings us true fulfillment. But it doesn't do anything for them. Which is why they're so selfish. And it's why no matter how much they achieve or attain, it's never enough. They're still miserable and they're still jealous of you because they're not really happy. It's all fake. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.